being a reviewer on YouTube, I've also gotten hit up on Amazon to review products there too. I've been asked to review anything from a bed to kids toys. You name it, I've been able to review it for the most part. A few months ago, I was approached to go and review some sweet potato seeds. I thought, well, that's a little random, but why not? So, uh, two months later, I got said seeds, and since I didn't have a spot to initially go and plant them right away, I just kept them in the package and threw them in a drawer. A couple weeks ago, my son comes out from North Carolina, he sees said seeds, and I tell him, you know, they're just sweet potato seeds, no big deal, and I just don't know what I'm going to do with them. And he said, well, Dad, I, uh, I like sweet potatoes, and I got a place to plant them, so can I have them? I thought, sure, why not? I'll share with you. After all, you know, sharing is caring. So I gave him said seeds. Now, recently, there have been some mysterious, unsolicited packages of seeds that are supposedly being sent from China to the uh, United States. Uh, and this is prompting agricultural departments in at least 31 states to issue warnings against planting them. And they say that they may be an invasive species that could be tied to a fake re product review scam. And this is what the police and officials are, are uh, going with. They say the packages, based on photographs and statements from officials, appeared to have been shipped by China's state-owned postal company <clears throat> and contain Chinese lettering on the exterior, advertising products ranging from jewelry to toys. But what's actually inside seemed to be random plant seeds, which in this case is what it looked like. I couldn't tell you exactly what it was because myself, I'm not a sweet potato plant seed connoisseur, if you will. So... <laughs> States from coast to coast have been urging residents to report the unexpected deliveries to their local agricultural departments over concerns that the seeds could be invasive or harmful species. The packages have garnered the attention of federal investigators with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services, working alongside the Department of Homeland Security's Custom and Border Protection and other federal and state agencies. The USDA officials have been asking anyone who received a suspicious seed package to contact their state plant regulator or their state's APHIS plant health director. Do not plant seeds from unknown origins, USDA urged in a statement. Officials in several states said there didn't, there didn't appear to be a clear pack, pattern to the packages which have been showing up at homes in the city, suburbs, and in rural areas. The number of packages uh, being reported also varied. For instance, uh, in Indiana, an official with the state attorney's general office said it had received only a handful of reports, while in Ohio, Officials have received roughly 150 calls uh, about the package over the past month. So, after doing some research, they're coming out saying that uh, this is an online scam being uh, considered as brushing. What that is, is it's uh, a company will go and set up a uh, account on Amazon and then get people to purchase their product in lieu of good feedback. So um, they completely set this up just to try and bolster their reviews. They say, although not directly dangerous, we would still prefer that people contact us properly to dispose of the seeds. So if in the event um, you are part of this considered uh, an international internet scam, please contact the, um, the correct uh, people in your area to dispose of the seeds properly. So uh, my bet, if you got them, don't plant them. 
Um, if you ordered some seeds from China, don't plant them. If you didn't order them and you got them, don't plant them. Either way, dispose of them properly. And alert some officials and let them know that you did get something questioning so they can know and trace what areas are getting hit the most. So, with that being told, uh, be safe out there when it comes to reviews. Myself, I've dialed it back a lot. I quit doing Amazon reviews. So, one less thing to have to worry about. So, if you're one of those people that are doing it, just know you might be setting yourself up for some potentially sketchy stuff. Just saying. So there you have it. There's Tuesday News Day. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumb up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share. Maybe your friend got some sketchy seeds too. We'll see you later. Bye.